Hey everyone, welcome to another video uh, on the rejected series. This is going to be the episode two. In the episode one, we discuss about how the thought of switching or the thought of joining a better company comes in and how we should not let that thought die. Those who are new to the channel, a uh, little bit about me. Uh, in the past, last year, I have cracked 10 job offers and currently work at Microsoft. I have given so many interviews and also have solved more than 3000 problems. On the channel, I have created videos of interview experience of all of these companies. Feel free to check those out. There are rejections and there are general videos how I mastered lead code, not mastered how I got better at lead code, how I got better at LLD, HLD and all of those. So in this uh, rejected series, I basically talk about the raw emotions that one feels when they are trying to make a switch or when they are on that journey, right? Uh, so this will be second episode. So this episode, what I named it, it's the first step, right? So when you have decided that, okay, you want to make a move, right? Or you want to get an offer or you are, let's say, in a college itself, right? You are, you want to work at some XYZ company, right? The first thing that you are going to need, and this is specific to software engineering, is DSA, right? You cannot avoid that. It is one of the most beautiful things out there. Once you start loving it, once you start solving the problems, right? Elite code and DSA, these are kind of goes hand in hand. The first step is diving into lead code and DSA. That's what I that's what I did when I had thought that okay, I have to make a move, right? I want to join a better company, I want to work at some XYZ company, or just I was curious that how, how things work, right? Now um, so the idea is simple. You have to do lead code and DSA, right? Don't fall in the trap of you have to buy X membership. No, it's something that you have to do on your own, right? Lot of YouTube videos are there. Lot lead code is free website. You easy to use. It's the amount of hours that you have to give. First thing is the temporary push. So what used to happen? So this is a journey that I've spent of two years, right? I've struggled for two years, and this is the result of the preparation that I have done for two years. But you don't need two years, right? You need good six to eight months. Uh, that's what I feel. So, and without any course or without any, it's just you grinding for six to eight months. That is the aim here that I'm trying to tell. So the temporary push, what used to happen is that I used to, so I, I got a push, I got excited as we discussed in the last episode. Now, uh, now you have a temporary push. You will open lead code. You will solve two to three problems. You will start easy. You will solve some easy problems and then medium problems. If let's say you did it in college, now you have two years of experience. Again, you will start uh, from basics, right? You will pick up some sheet and you will start solving those problems, right? So that you will do for one week. I used to do it. I did that for one week back in 2022, 2023. I made switch in 2024. Right, so going to talk about that journey. Now, what happens is you spend two to three hours doing a lead code for a week or so, right? And then comes the drop off. Now, what happens in the drop off is that, see, you will not be able to solve all the problems. Let, let's say if you're good in college and then you stop DSA for two years, then the drop off hits, right? You start questioning whether whether you are fit for it because let's say on on the day of a drop off of the day on when the drop off kicks off you picked up problem that is very above your level right lead code has easy medium hard but medium could be somewhere from uh, 13 to 1400 level to 2000 level right if i am at 1500 level i by mistake picked a medium and the medium of 2000 level so i'll get demotivated right we all get demotivated because Motivation only lasts for some days. Then the discipline and consistency is most important when you want to make a switch. So what happens here is the drop off starts. You will not code for one day because you are very mentally exhausted. And then you have a working job also, right? If you are in like the hardest part is that you have to manage your job as well, right? So then comes the drop off. Like it has happened with me more than enough, like back in 2022, back in 2023. Even if you look at my lead code, I solved DSA for 15 days back in 2022, and then I had I hit this drop off phase, right? Then you don't do lead code for three months. Like I have mentored so many people on top mate. It's the exact problem that everyone faces through. So you are not alone. Now, how we have to overcome this? That's that's something that you have to keep in your mind. If you are thinking that I am not cut for this, how did I forget of a problem that I solved one month ago? That is okay. That is completely fine. You should not underestimate and you should not feel bad for yourself, right? 
the it is okay to lose the rhythm it is okay to not solve a problem for one day but don't let it happen for two days right taking a break for one day is completely fine but it should not result in a drop off now why starting easy stay consistent this is what i would like to give back in this episode before i end this one is that think of dsa like a gym so let's say if in college i did dsa i was good i cracked some company but now for one year i have stopped doing dsa or let's take an example of college student also you did dsa for 6 months but now you have let's say stopped uh, you did dev, dev work and what not right and then it has been like you solved a problem 3 months ago now you are forgetting it right but think of it like that if you go to a gym after 3 or 4 months right will you start hitting the old old uh, old weights that you used to lift if i was benching 80 uh, kg right then i i went to gym after 6 months would i bench 80 kg would i bench 100 kg again no right i have to start start from 5 kg so this is the thing you will have to again start from uh, easy problems like not for a long you will just solve easy problem to 5 to 7 days if you have solved more than 1000 problems you have con- uh, good contest rating right it is there in your muscle memory but then you have to regain that you have to rebuild that form right so i what i am trying to say here is that you are not alone in this journey the only thing that differs from you and me as of now is the hours that i have already put if you compare me with you if you are like watching on the way you are you might be at a stage where i was in 2022 right at that time no one guided me but consider this as your guide stay consistent solve one or two problems and also try to put a target on the number of hours that you spent and it is completely fine if you are forgetting a problem that you solved one month or uh, if i'll give an example if you let's say no abc right how many times have we revised abc when we were children we never really cared about that so this is same thing you have to do don't really care about whether you are forgetting or not you have to do it every day with that i'll end this video we're not going to make the videos very long this is the episode 2 take that first step and don't let the drop off happen if it happens that is completely fine you are not alone we'll discuss how to overcome that in the next episode uh, thanks for watching have a nice day